So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what I think about the passport bros. And this is a topic that most guys have asked me about. Like, Joe, Jay, you need to talk more about the passport bros. What you think about the passport bro movement? And to be honest with you, I don't have a problem with passport bros. Um, any way a brother wants to find a feminine woman, a woman that they believe is cooperative, go ahead and go for it, right? Because most guys, whether you're a simp, whether you blue pill, red pill, whatever, most guys generally want a feminine woman, right? But unfortunately, due to the state of modern woman in society, uh, modern women are out of order, right? Which I understand. But I'm going to be honest with you, fellas. I believe it's our fault. It's our fault that these modern women are out of pocket. We lack leadership. A lot of guys can't maintain their frame. A lot of guys don't want to put in the work to be the best version of themselves. And I'm there. Are, there are plenty of women in America that are fit, feminine, and cooperative. And this is not a video. I'm not saying I'm against passport bros. I'm just giving feedback on what I uh, think about certain passport bros. And I feel like certain passport bros don't want to put in the work, right? To be the best version of themselves so they can attract a feminine woman within the United States because there are plenty. Like I, there are plenty of feminine women out here and I know a bunch personally. Um, but the thing is, a lot of you guys are in environments where there aren't feminine women and also you guys are not becoming true masculine men in order to attract that feminine woman, right? That's the only way you're going to attract feminine woman if you yourself become a truly masculine man. But a lot of you guys that don't want to put in the work to work on yourselves, you just say, forget America, right? I'm gonna go ahead and find me a queen that's gonna be submissive in a different country. But a lot of you guys don't wanna take into consideration of the legality aspects of bringing somebody from a different country, the consequences of bringing somebody from a different country. And not only that, but their immigration laws, right? Because they have certain laws um, where you, you know, it's pretty difficult to go through the green card and citizenship like it's a lot that goes into dating or bringing somebody from a different country and i myself you know my family being congolese uh i i know this stuff very well because i've seen and witnessed many of my family members bringing um you know people from different countries you know not different countries people from congo and marrying them and but there's a lot of issues that come behind that. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of times they will come here, they will see the American culture, get sucked up by the American culture and then dump your ass. Um, other brothers, man, that are like, man, forget America, period, move back to the country. I guess that's, if you choose to do that, hey, <laughs> that's another good option, but just understand you gotta adjust to a different cultural norm. Because different countries have different norms, different different laws. You know, you can't just go to a different country prematurely. Like you gotta study the culture. You gotta know the language. You gotta know habits. You gotta know what these, how these people think in those countries. But I see a lot of dudes clueless, more American, culturally American born guys. They're delude, a lot of, some dudes are delusional and just say, oh, I'm gonna just go to a different country and get me a wife. Not knowing the language, not wanting to put in the work. So there's consequences behind it. But I truly believe, gentlemen, if I, if most guys stepped up to the plate and focus on being the best version of themselves, it was like, you know what, man, I'm not gonna put up with this modern women mess, but I'm gonna focus on being the best version of myself and become superior and change my, mind, my mindset. I'm going to attract a feminine woman, especially that lives in America. They, they're out here. You just gotta go, you just gotta put yourself in the right situation. Um, you gotta be around the right people to attract those caliber women, but you gotta be a, a, a certain type of guy to attract that. 
Now again, I understand the state of modern woman is different. It's difficult. It's hard, right? But in my opinion, there's another group of passport bros that truly are, some of them are pretty dusty and they don't want to put in the work to focus on how good, they, you know, focus on the look, the physical appearance. They don't want to focus on getting better from within. They don't want to focus on uh, the mental health aspect. They don't want to be leaders. They just want to be soft and then go to a different country and find a woman, right? But I truly believe, gentlemen, if you, if you focus on being the best version of yourself, if you become a superior man, you put yourself in those, in the right environment, you can find a quality woman in America. It's a matter of the amount of work that you have to put in. So moving to a diff different country is not gonna solve your problems. I promise you that. Moving to a different country or dealing with a woman from a different country is not gonna solve their problems. You know, certain guys get finessed. <laughs> I've seen it happen to people I personally know. And they're going through it with the legal system as far as, you know, trying to marry somebody from a different country, thinking they're gonna get, they're gonna get some money when it's not that easy. You know, a lot of American guys do that. And it don't work like that. You know, nowadays things are a lot different as far as trying to marry somebody from a different country. So I want you guys to just, before you make that decision to become a passport bro, I want you guys to think and be ready for a major change in your life, a new cultural norm, something new. You know, you can't just speak English and not want to adjust and learn the language. You got to be willing to learn their cultural norms and what they believe in, all those different things, right? But again, I understand you want to find that feminine woman. You know, you want to build a family. Um, primarily, most guys want to have a family. I want to have a family. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not a, you know, a bachelor kind of guy, to be honest with you. It looks fun, but that's just not me because a lot of the work that comes behind it, you know, Bachelor meaning having a 10 woman rotation kind of thing. That's just not me. I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't have the mental or ment the mental or emotional capacity to deal with 10 different women at one time. That's just a little too, that's too much. Realistically for me, like I'm gonna be fully transparent. So um, like I said, I want a family. I like things very simple, but the way society is today, um, modern women are not simple, but there's ways around the bullshit. But uh, I truly believe that if we maximize on being the best version of ourselves as far as from a masculine perspective, um, being the best version of yourself from a financial perspective, being the best version of yourself from a mental perspective, just the whole nine, I truly believe you can find somebody. Right? And I know a lot of guys are sick of the, st the statistics and the things that modern women want, the expectations. Um, but realistically, that's just social media stuff. But people are actually living real life. And you actually live in a real life. There are people that are, there are women out here that are pretty good out here. I'll be honest with you. I know a lot of passport bros are going to disagree with this video, but I'm just going to be honest with y'all. And as requested that everybody wanted to hear my perception of the passport bro movement. Now, I know a couple brothers that are doing really well that moved to a different country. I know a couple brothers that are happy that they're dealing with somebody that, you know, from a different country and they're flying back and forth. Um, you got to think about the financial aspect of it. So those are things that, um, this is my thought. That's my thought, man. I'm not criticizing nobody. But this is just my thought, my perception. You know, you can take it or leave it. That's just how I feel about it. So again, gentlemen, this is my perception of the Passport Bros. This is what I think about Passport Bros. Gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Gentlemen, I appreciate y'all watching my video. Peace from Jay the Professor.